Master Wong Shang Liang, uh, Grand Elder from the Wing Chun Kung Fu Association here in Hong Kong, and known throughout the world. And others here include Wei Ching, uh, Henry Williams, Gary Okuyama, Brandon Lai, Brandon Shirota, uh, and myself, John D. Virgilio. So uh, this is a story about the roots of Wing Chun in Hong Kong. As Xi Wang came in, he started with a few good men. If, uh, if the, uh, the Master Wong can talk about how he first joined the Yip Man Kung Fu Sur. Wait, there's, this is a, a athletic association, but uh, before when Master Wong um, studied with Yipman, there was no association. No association. How old was Master Wong when he first stepped in? He started about 17, 18 years old. 17 to 18 years old. Yeah, between the and this was here in Hong Kong. Yes. Uh, he, uh, he had a uh, school at San And this was a restaurant, movie house, theater? It's just a flat. It's just uh, much like this. It's a flat. It's a flat area, like an open apartment. Yeah. Sifu at the time, Wing Chun wasn't as popular yet, and he did not know that much about the histories, like Lam Chan started it, and he heard of the name, but he didn't know too much about Wing Chun. In Canton, Leung uh, Zhan was a, was, a, was a big master, big Sifu, and um, his name it, uh, as a big Sifu was, was bigger than the name Wing Chun itself. So people knew about his Sifu, but not his martial art. Oh, his, they knew his name, but not his art. So yeah. Leung Zhan of Fat San. That's right. And, uh, they known, known throughout Canton. He was known as master. one of the uh, Ten Tigers, I believe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. But please. Uh, uh, well, to speak, speaking of which, the Ten Tigers, Leung Zhan is, 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 doesn't really look up or he doesn't really associate himself with the Ten Tigers, that type of urban legend type stuff. So in Wing Chun, there's not, we don't see people having lion dances or yes. there's not a lot of ceremony. See, uh, it's, not, it's not very much practice in Wing Chun. So Wing Chun is not a ceremonial type of art, but an application art? It's not a skill. Okay, a long time ago, uh, when they did lion dances and stuff, they didn't think of it as an art or as a ceremony. They thought about it as, as like, well, uh, I need to get uh, lysi, you know lysi? Oh, yeah, yeah, we see uh, a one-two body, red packet. Red packet, and uh, it's not much different from a beggar. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So looking for monies. Yes, it's, uh, it's a way to get money. Young John is a famous doctor, though, Fat yeah, So yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a very smart man. Yeah. Oh, don't it took him, it took Sifu a month after learning Wing Chun, or started after Wing, uh, a month after he started Wing Chun, before he realized Long John was the person who did Wing Chun. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of money, money. 
哇！我聽到佛山咧有一個梁贊好好功夫嘅，咁嗰時問話：而家你學緊呢種功夫就係佢教落嚟。He goes, the sifu said, he told him, yeah, I heard there's this guy named Luang Zhan. He's he's very good at kung fu in Pasan. He goes, who who is this guy? And then uh, Yipin says, you're learning the style of martial arts he's he's doing. <laughs> so this is an impression that a young man got. He finally found the art of Luang Zhan, Fat San. 中意都揾到啊！因為我亦都聽過梁贊一個徒弟叫做周潛華，我係喺我爸爸嘅口度聽翻嚟，話佢點樣好打，點樣好打，但我只係聽啫，但我唔知呢種功夫就係佢哋嗰種功夫。He had、uh, heard that Luang Zhan had a student named 周潛華，周潛華係佢嘅 nickname， 係佢嘅名係華。Zhao Qingwang was his nickname. Anyway,、uh, the stories he heard through, uh, through different people how great he was and how much of a good fighter and all the, all the urban legends. And he, he did not know that he did Wing Chun until he, he, he joined him in school.、Uh, Zhao Qingwang, the money changer. Yes, money changer. Yes, changing. very famous.、Yes. So then he found out about two names now. Yes, he found out both were Wing Chun practitioners. Ah, you don't know about Tian or Zhao Qingwang. His father has seen Zhao Qingwang fought、uh, another person. But his father does not know much about it. But he saw anyway. I want to come back to this. It's an interesting thing because on that lineage of Yang Chan, Zhao Qinhua, Yi Man, the probably the next most famous icon person in Wing Chun is、uh, Master Wang Shengyang. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so you have Yang Chan, then you have Zhao Qinhua, then you have Yi Man, then you have you. This is the most famous one. 最之有名嘅名，最最 well known。唔係叫有冇名，因為舊時冇乜人識永春，甚至我學永春嘅時間咧，永春都唔係好多人。我、哦、我記得我學永春嘅時間係已經係將近過年，係年二十八，仲有兩日過年。咁、嗯、我去到粵文嘅館嘅時間咧，去睇佢嘅館，嗰陣時只係幾個新嘅徒弟。哦，有啲咩嘅先講咧？嗰啲哦 ，computer 嘅咩嘅先咧？又話我同阿陳尚田打，其實完全冇呢啲事。嗯、um, ，when when the time Sifu is not he said it's not being well known or not being well known at the time he started Wing Chun, he、uh, wasn't very well known anyway. And then um and when he started, it was、uh, around New Year's time, so there weren't a lot of people to school except for new for new students. And、um, And on the internet, there's a lot of stories going around about the lineage. And there's this、uh, particular story which says that Sifu have、uh, fought, or he went to the school and challenged. Oh, Choi Chong Ting. Oh, Choi Chong Ting. Choi Chong. Okay, Choi Chong Ting. For the movie's sake, is Yip Man's first student. Oh,、um, yeah. head student. 我哋可以話佢係好早嘅徒弟。He's a very early student. Early student. 哦，當然仲有啲早過佢嘅，好似梁尚啊、樂耀啊，都係比佢早早一啲。Those guys are early students. So Master Wong came into class Yip Man's school. Yes, the story goes. And he challenged. He challenged. The story goes. He will challenge Choi Sheng Ting. Choi Sheng. Ah, Liang Shang. No, 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 no. The story says Choi Sheng Ting. Choi Sheng Ting. The story says. And then the story says. He beat up Sifu, and Sifu went from then on to practice Wing Chun. But that, that is not the story. Oh, that is not the story then. Oh, yeah, my God, Chen Shao, he's completely not here. Yeah, he's just gone. Because the truth is, he wasn't there because、uh, it was around New Year's and he was celebrating. He was not there. Not there. So only a few other students were there. A few other students. So, I'm. 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 They were, um, well, um, people see food was kind of like young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well known. Maybe people see food was kind of young and not very well粵文就好唔高興，因為我自己好年輕，嗰時唔知道咧喺啲舞館咁樣做咧係唔啱。Um, Yimin was very upset, but Sifu was kind of young and he didn't know proper school etiquette, so he didn't know that that was not a good thing to do. Go to another school and beat up、uh, one of their members. 
咁咧，結果葉問同我講，佢話呢啲係咪新學嘅知識好？冇幾多人嘅啫。不過我都相信呢樣嘢，佢哋啱啱學緊知手嘅喎。See, uh, Yip and Ben says, well, these guys have not been learning for a long time, and that's probably true because Sifu saw them and they were just starting to learn Qi Sao. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said, you're the one who knows the Qi Sao. That man is the one who 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 is the one. Then Yip and goes, he pointed out a student in the, in the crowd, and he said, another crowd, and a few students that were there, and he said, uh, you spar with him, and that was uh, Yip and's nephew. Oh, of course. 佢大概嘅年齡咧係廿五歲喎，比較大幾大幾年。It was, it was、uh, at that time, Yip、uh, Lin's nephew was about twenty-two, twenty-two, a little bit older than Sifu. His name, oh, he's a very famous Sifu. He's a very famous Sifu. I'm sorry, I didn't know the name. Okay, we 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 know who it is, but it's okay. But it's even more. Uh, I want to know if you want to know him. He's not in Hong Kong right now. Yes. Oh. I think they know. But if you want to know him, I'll tell him that he won't be able to play a game. I'll tell him that he won't be able to play a game. I'll tell him that he won't be able to play a game. <laughs> in, a, in a very short time, he uh, finished off this opponent uh, much quicker and to a greater extent than he did the first opponent. Kept knocking him down on the ground and, and so on and so on. It kind of embarrassed him and uh, even was very, very upset. Oh, you don't want to this What you talking about? And afterwards, he has not seen that person since. Oh, after you left, you started learning Chinese. Oh, there's some friends who come to me and tell me. He said, when you leave, Yip Min will tell you that you left. But once, once, once Sifu left, Yip Min, oh, once, once uh, Wang Sifu left uh, the place, left the Gun, uh, rumor has it, from, heard from his siblings, uh, that, that Yip Min yelled at uh, his nephew quite a lot. I mean, very... You know, very harsh scolding. Very harsh scolding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know he went to Taiwan. Then he moved to Taiwan. He moved to Taiwan. He did not learn from this incident. After this incident, he really didn't learn Wei Chun. He still teaches in Taiwan to this day. So then Sifu now has won two fights. And he got the one for that. And as a result of Sifu beating Yimin's nephew, Yimin decided to take on Sifu. 我當然葉問有好多徒弟可以打嘅，但係嗰個時咧，因為張文過年係冇人上去嘅，又譬如好似徐尚田啊、葉步青啊、哦梁尚啊、樂耀，行行都冇一個喺度。嗯，因為係新年，好多老師，甚至係葉問，佢哋可以直接派人去打西部，唔喺度，例如嗰啲我哋之前講嘅。And since they were not there, since they're celebrating, Yip Man had to go himself to uh, challenge. Yip Man himself. Yeah. 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 我同佢啲徒弟打嘅時間咧，係佢哋同我講咧，大家先有隻手接觸咗先，即、就、係、是、大家有隻手，大家接觸咗，然後打嘅。Okay, when、uh, when Sifu fought the students, they didn't start fighting until the hands touched. 嗯，我但我同葉問打嘅時間冇咗呢樣。When he fought Yip Man, there was not even not even that, not even that touch. No touch yet. The range is a little longer than. 我當時我同佢打咧，因為我以前學過搏勝，我同佢打嘅時候我係用搏勝同佢打。師傅 use boxing to fight Yip Min。我當然係冇戴手套嘅。No gloves. No gloves. Did、uh, Wang Sifu have some boxing experience? Yes.、Uh, prior to his Wing Chun experience, he did have boxing. Boxing. Ah. 我我亦都學過泰拳。We also learned Tai Chi. So he already beat several students, so he must have boxed very well. Okay, please. And then Yip Min. But it's not so good, but it's not so good. 
蚊就唔驚，我係唔驚打咁大聲嘅。He goes, uh, Sifu said he was, he wasn't that he boxed very well, but he was very confident. He was not afraid of a lot of anything. 哦，佢同我打嗰時咧，越問好勁，佢亦都唔打我住，因為我地方唔係好大，佢一路逼我，一路逼我，我一路 jab 佢，我 jab 佢嘅時間咧，佢都未冇發到拳打我，佢只係攞住我啲位，攞住啲位，攞住啲位。When uh, when he fought Yipin, Yipin was very calm, and uh, Yipin did not initially uh, punch Si Fu, uh, punch Master Wong. Uh, Master Wong uh, was sitting there throwing jabs, uh, throwing jabs at Yipin, and uh, all Yipin did was to just keep keep it, keep him in check. All he did was keep him, keep Si Fu in check. And he kept pushing and pushing and pushing him uh, into the wall. Up the wall. Up against the wall. Yeah. And he just suddenly came out. 一拉拉住我個手，一拉拉住咧，擺個拳頭喺我邊度，擺喺身度，仲好幾支喺度，都冇打到。And then suddenly, he flashed out and trapped Si Fu and and threw a very a lot of punches at Si Fu, but none of them hit. But it got really close to Si Fu. He pulled, Yip Man pulled his punches. Yes, he stopped when Si Fu. So he used a gum saw or something to check him. Trapped Si Fu. Against the wall, so. Yeah, yeah. 咁咧。啱啱佢同我試完之後咧，有一個好高大嘅人，啱啱咁去上去嗰度。After uh, after after C, after Yipin uh, uh, has done that to Sifu, a really tall man stepped into a lagoon of the school. 我佢當時叫呢、這個呢、這個人，我認為係佢徒弟嚟，個名傅清。It was Yip Ho Ching. Oh, much taller than you. Yeah, yeah. Yip Ho Ching, yes. Also from Hong Kong. Oh, no, no. He's from Hong Kong. Oh, he's from Hong Kong, okay. Then, he took Yip Ho Ching to the hospital. He went to the hospital. Now, he brought Yip Ho Ching into the kitchen and he gave him some food. He made some kind of drink for him. Who made? Yip Ho Ching? Yip Ho Ching. And what he really did was to bring him into the kitchen so he could drink some food. Yeah, yeah. And he did that to bring him into the kitchen so he could talk to Yip Ho Ching. It was just an excuse. Like I, I made you something to drink. Come in, and he went to talk. 当时咧，我同埋我个 cousin 唔想去。He was at the time he was up with his cousin. 咁咧，我 cousin 就同我讲，哇，佢呢个师傅好好啊，佢煲埋啲竹蔗水俾徒弟饮。So this is Wang Sifu's cousin. Yes, Wang Sifu's cousin commented, "Wow, this Sifu is a nice guy. He even made a made this drink for his for his students." Oh, but at that time, my this cousin was very very soft. This was not too bright. His cousin was not very was very naive, not too bright. At that time, I told my cousin, "No, no, 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 no. He didn't make him anything to drink. He's telling him to go out and fight me." No. Oh, when he came out, he gave me some food. He gave me three jobs. As as Yipo Ching came out of the kitchen, he rolled up his his pants and rolled up his sleeves. Then I told my cousin, "Oh, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to fight him." No, are you kidding? He's coming out to fight me now. I mean, that's what Sifu said to his cousin as he sees Yipo Ching come out of the kitchen. Oh, the result is that he really hit me. He hit me. In conclusion, uh, not in conclusion, but as a result, what really happened was he did go out to challenge Sifu to fight Yipo Ching. Oh, because at that time, I was very thin, very very skinny. Sifu was very young and skinny at the time. I was about 105 or 106 pounds. Then, when he got up to Yipo Ching's neck. Yipo Ching is much taller. I had taller than him. I was 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 taller than him. But when he fought Sifu, his neck was very strong and heavy. Then, when he fought Sifu, his neck was very strong and heavy. 我記得我當時都有打傷嘅，不過佢打得我仲緊要啲，打得我好滿面啲血啫。Sifu remember he did hurt him, but Yipo Ching hurt Sifu more. You remember his face is all red and he's all bruised. 因為我我好長咧，我打過呢啲位，變咗咧佢流血個機會多一倍高，但係我都打傷到佢有流血有嘢嘅，不過咧就唔係咁緊要。但係佢變咗佢係高手長咧。
變咗佢打住我嘅話咧，變咗我睇唔到咧，我係傷，呢個好傷一啲嘅。即係佢話 ，since he was shorter and he was not paying attention, he was hitting people take more to the sides, and so the chance of bleeding was less. But even though he did make a people change injure and and bleed, he was taller. He had, and from Sifu's point of view, people change hurt Sifu more. So it's a heavy exchange. Both men exchange. Sifu thinks that people change hurt him more. Those both men. So then, the Yuman, if you know me, I really want to learn Kung Fu. So then, the Yuman said. 你年初四，即係過咗年，年初四上嚟學啦。結果我初四我學。啊，師傅説：，誒，葉誒，師公，葉公，師公説 ：，Well, this guy, he knew that guy want, this guy wanted to know kung fu, and he so he said, okay, well, you come on after New Year, Chinese New Year, and then you can start. And then Sifu came that day and started. So what year was that about? Do you remember what year? Eighty. Yeah, well, how many years? I was born in 1953. 1953 1952-1953 after Sifu learned Kung Fu for not a very long time, Yip and Sifu what are you learning? Because everyone, because everyone else says for self-defense, everyone else will learn. And Sifu said to beat up people, to fight, to fight. So Master Wang was very direct with his heart. Yes, and Yip yeah. was very happy. He was very happy because everyone was, everyone else is lying, and you're very honest. Oh, because if you want to learn self-defense, there's no need for you to learn kung fu. Oh,又你打你唔可以走啦。哥，你既然話你學功夫，我嚟打架我咧，哥，你先嚟講真。See if you if you tell someone you're learning kung fu for the sake of fighting, then at least you're telling the truth。哦，又都有一次咧，我
for you. At the time, Kung Chung was just like a budding. It wasn't very, very strong in Hong Kong yet. And a lot of other Kung Fu systems want to keep Kung Chung below ground, you know, like they don't want it to be popular. So, you know, Dosu Ho Tong, when they dug up Bay Bow, yeah, Hold on, the whole lot of people are dying. So, a lot of people were very willing to fight Sifu when Sifu offered. Oh, Chip Dong was sick to work on that. He met a man named Wong Kyu. Until we met a man named Wong Kyu. Wong Kyu? Yeah, now he was teaching in Holland. But at that time, he was taught in Nantong Wong. Yeah, Southern Peng Mantis. He used to, at the time, Wong Kyu, right? He was learning Southern Peng Mantis. He fought Sifu, and he lost. Sifu won. Then he fought Sifu, and he lost. Sifu won. 之後咧，佢揾好多嗰啲師兄啊，揾得我又輸，揾得我又輸。咁啊，結果又揾第二派啲，結果由師兄一路打到師叔伯都有噶啦，行行都輸。Then he, then um, uh, the first Wang Qiu, right? Yeah, Wang Qiu. He went to find his uh, at the time, uh, Kung Fu brothers. Uh, then went, then went to find his uh, Kung Fu uncles and went down to the whole family to, uh, and they all lost. They all still lost. He beat all uh, Tong Long Kyu, all of Southern Primantis. He beat all of Primantis, but he beat all of Tong Long Kyu. He beat all of Tong Long Kyu. He beat all of Southern Tong Long Kyu, but he did fight other styles too. He beat all of the Kyu, and he beat all of the Kyu. He beat all of the Kyu, and he beat all of the Kyu. He beat all of the Kyu, and he beat all of the Kyu. He beat all of the Kyu, and he beat all of the Kyu. He beat all of the Kyu, and he beat all of the Kyu. He beat all of the Kyu, and he beat all of the Kyu. In the area called Ga Dong Le San, they used to be before. Now they have a lot of houses and housing. But before that housing was just a flat land, and that's where the challenges would take place. You were what's the name again? Ga Dong Le San. Ga Dong Le San. Ga Dong Le San. Ga Dong Le Ga Dong Le Ga Dong Le San. Ga Dong Le San. Oh, he's a name. 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 Ga Dong Le San. Ga Dong Le San. Ga Dong Le San. 電燈公司嗰個嗰個老闆咧，佢嘅都係猶太人嚟嘅。Oh, oh, is it? I will find the name for you. Noise outside. It's coming. It's okay. So it was a flat land at this time for fighting. 喺嗰陣時咧，我好，我仲讀緊中學嘅嗰陣時，大概嚟講應該係 Form Four。He was at a high school at the time. Chinese high school. Sifu was in around Form 4. Form 4? That's, uh, that's I think, sophomore high school. Sophomore high school. Okay, so, he, so Wang Qiu lost. How many other fights soon after followed? Five fights, two fights, ten fights? Too much to remember. He actually paid people to fight Sifu. Wang Qiu was always fighting Sifu. Because he really wanted to beat up Sifu. But eventually he learned Wing Chun anyway. Wang Qiu became very famous in Wing Chun. Very famous in Wing Chun. So because of your victory over him, you convinced him. He went to a very famous one. He was a very famous one. He was a very famous one. He fought a man. He got a man named Lump. He was very big. He's about 200 pounds. Oh, and he's also a very famous Sifu, this Lump. So, originally, Sifu was not matched up with this guy. Originally, Sifu was not matched up with this guy. He was to fight another Sifu called Lump. 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 Oh, I got some lung. That's all they found. No, no, he's um, uh, Sifu Lung, a very big man, in a place which uh, Sifu used to fight another style of. He's just using the place. They're just using this place. Oh, but then they saw that he didn't come. The opponent didn't come. But the opponent was scared and didn't show up. The link of that is also Wang Qiu arranged. But uh, oh, that fight, that one. Yeah. Yeah. 佢揾嚟同我打呢個人，都係王橋。The guy who didn't show up was was also arranged by Wang Qiu. The guy who didn't show up. 我如果佢對方唔嚟咧，呢個姓林嗰個師傅咧，佢個恩徒同佢講：，哦，佢話佢咁細啦，執咗佢啦，執咗俾啲徒弟睇啦咁。
，因為當時佢係好多同嘅 O.K. 所以誒誒 ，Mr. Kulam， his uncle says， look at that guy， he's he's so small， just just go ahead and beat him up and show， you know， show your students your techniques， just beat him up。咁啊，結果就唔打上。哦，我都認為我同過咁多人打招呼，佢係一個好好嘅一個。誒 ，Sifu considers him to be one of the best people in his class. Sifu Lam. 哦，我哋唔好理佢係嘅，抑或輸。但係佢練呢一種功夫，佢打得翻出，佢完全係佢個功夫打到出嚟。佢輸係